There is an old and unique tradition in Afghanistan called Bacha Push. Parents will often pick a daughter to live and behave as a boy. The practice is said to be more than a century old. It is mostly done by parents who do not have a son. Even today, the tradition continues in some parts of Afghanistan. But what are the Taliban's views on this practice? Do these girls live as men for the rest of their lives? Our next story has the answers. It's a typical weekend in Kabul. At this dusty playground, a group of boys are busy playing football. Full marks for enthusiasm. But none of them really stand out as players. Their clothes are typical too. Either a sweater and jeans or the traditional Afghan attire. But unknown to them, one is different from the others. At not quite eight years old, Sanam is a bacha posh, a girl living as a boy. One day, the girl with rosy cheeks and an impish smile had her hair cut short. She donned boy's clothes and took on a boy's name, Umid. Now she can play soccer and cricket with the boys. She easily beats the neighborhood butcher's son in wrestling. Plus, she can help her father at work. In Afghanistan's male-dominated society, this is a rare cheat code. Girls dress like boys, they behave like boys, and so they are treated like boys. Being a boy is very good in this situation. In Afghanistan, boys are more valuable. There is no oppression for them and no limits. But being a girl is different. They are forced to get married at a young age. People say she is too much of a teenager to go out of the house and for people to see her face. But there is a time limit. You cannot be a bacha posh forever. Once you reach puberty, you must revert to being a girl. Not an easy transition for many. How does the Taliban view this practice? So far, they haven't made public statements on it, but considering their track record, you wouldn't bet on their support. It is unclear where this practice originated from, how old it is and how widespread it might be. Girls chosen as bacha posh are usually more boisterous and self-assured. The reasons for this decision may vary, with sons traditionally valued more than daughters, the practice usually occurs in families without a boy. Some consider it a status symbol, but for others, like Sanam's family, the choice was one of necessity. We had to make her bacha posh. God is my witness. If the Taliban come to criticize us, I will talk to them and tell them that we had to do this. I will tell them that she will stay at home if they provide the necessities. My children need food and water, and we need lots of things for the house. Otherwise, my children will die of hunger. With Afghanistan's economy collapsing, construction work dried up. Sanam's father lost his job as a plumber. He turned to selling coronavirus masks on the streets. He makes around one to two dollars per day. But he needed a helper. The family has four daughters and one son. But their 11-year-old boy doesn't have full use of his hands following an injury. So the parents decided to turn Sanam into a boy. Bacha posh is not common in Afghan society, but we had to do this because of poverty. We don't have a son to work for us, and a father does not have anyone to help him. So I consider her as my son beside him until she becomes a teenager. Sanam herself says she prefers living as a boy. She likes playing in the park with her brother's friends and playing cricket and football. I would like to become a doctor or a commander or a soldier or I'll work with my father. 
However, the reversal in roles can be traumatic, as former Bacha Posh Naji explains. Being a man is better than being a woman. I repeat, despite having four children, I wish I could be a man. It is very hard for me. The fact is, girls should not have to dress like boys for equal rights. That defeats the whole point of gender equality. As for the Taliban, it's anyone's guess how they will react to Bacha Posh with contempt and violence. South Asia Bureau, we own. World is one.